All right, guys, here we go again. Six days after Wausau, the derby that you guys just got done watching. We're ready to do it all over again. Adam has his Cavalier loaded up, his beautiful bumper, our new paint job. This is just temporary. Oh, this is kind of Adam's paint job. Um, but you can see we got a different name on the side of the car. And this is actually kind of a neat program that Rick puts on uh, with Hollywood Motorsports for this compact team show. Um, basically, uh, when you pre-register, it is a pre-registration show, you send in $300 a team, it's a three-man team, and then he goes out and he gets these businesses to sponsor each team. So as long as you show up, as long as you bring your three cars and pass tech, you get your $300 back. So really the show is free to enter. Uh, it's going to pay $1,500 to the winning team. So basically that was the only thing we had left. We got some paint slapped on her. Tank in and secure. We dumped all the gas out of it since we've been having some gas problems. Um, we had a the water was up to the seat, so Adam punched some holes in here so that we could get that uh, drained out. And he's now put in, he's got a two battery system in here since we're not running a battery on this one. So, uh, alternator, Jesus. Sorry guys, it's derby day. We're it's ready hot. to roll. It's hot too. <laughs> Holy crap, is it hot. So, Cavalier, two door, 2000. She's ready to roll. We didn't put them both in the driveway next to each other this time. Sorry guys. You're going to have to bear with me while I walk down to show you the other one. <laughs> because we had to get a rental trailer. We didn't really have to, but we decided we are going to do new hubs on that trailer you saw us trying to put back together. So, since this one's about two hours away from us, we decided we'd be safe. So back here, hooked up to Adam's so truck. You get the worst looking U-Haul trailer we could find. <laughs> yes, they did give us, they gave us the Derby trailer special. Um, my Prism. Hey, it doesn't have a hole in the hood. We should probably do something about that. Oh, yeah. Right All right, we'll do that. We'll do that at the Derby. Um, so... Other than that, she's also painted, obviously, looks pretty similar. Um, I got my chains into the windows, fuel lines run, just a single line. Guys, I didn't actually run the pressure regulator um, because everything that I found, it really didn't seem like it made that big of a difference on these cars, being as that pump right there is rated at 44 PSI and this Corolla runs off about 40, so um, it's pretty close. It's been handling it just fine. We've had it running quite a bit. Doesn't flood out, doesn't stall, doesn't give us any problems. Overall, pretty happy with it. So, there she is. I mean, we've updated pretty well on these cars, I think. Um, I got my tank just sitting on a floating holder. Fuel pump hanging off to the side. I mean, overall, guys, you saw us build these ones. You saw us put the bumper on. I mean, we're going to put different tires on this one when we get to the track. But really, overall, um, still semi-stock build. She's... She's ready to roll. We're going to get on the road here now. Of course, we'll be the first one there. Uh, we're going to have heats and hopefully a can see feature or whatever. We're going to hopefully be running more than once. So um, we've got somebody there in the stands that's going to record for us because the pit side, you can't really see much. So Theo with maxed RPM is going to be filming for us. Um, so definitely a shout out to his page too. Make sure you check him out. He records a lot of local derbies, has some cool stuff out there too. So. We're going to get rolling, guys. Thanks for tagging along. As always, get goosed.